So let's talk about the new fingerprint module from ADH Tech. These are very cool little fingerprint scanners that you can use to do access control or to do uh, identification. And they talk serial, so they're really easy to hook up. The way they actually work is with an optical sensor that takes a picture of your fingerprint when you put your finger on the pad here. And then it uses an algorithm to take that picture and sort of chunk it down into a string of data that they call a template. And the cool thing about a template is that you can save it in memory and you can actually download it from the module and upload it into other modules so that you can spread that data to a whole bunch of these things deployed in different places. But we'll talk more about that later. The uh, other cool thing about this module is that you can enroll up to 20 users on the module and it will store all of that data on the chip on board. To connect this module, you just have to hook up four wires. There's a power, ground, and then serial TX and RX. I've hooked it up to my computer, and to do that, you just need something to turn the transistor level serial into a virtual COM port, and of course, the FTDI basic breakout is a great way to do that. The module is powered with five volts, so a five volt FTDI breakout will hook on directly to this module, no problem at all. And then you can open up the COM port on your computer and test it using their test software. So here's the window open with the software. And you can see we've got serial port number here and baud rate. The baud rate is set to 115-200 by default. And that is the default baud rate for the module. So leave that alone. And then figure out which port your module is on. And select that under serial port number. I happen to know that mine is on COM8. So I'll select COM8 and hit open. And you'll see in the result window here, you get the firmware version that's on the device and then the device serial number. So that's how you know it's connected. Uh, now you'll notice that all these buttons, you can press them, and uh, they've each got a different function on them. So here's enroll, verify, um, getting and setting templates and databases. So a uh, template is actually the word that they use to talk about the fingerprint information. So a template is sort of the data version of the fingerprint. So uh, when you press your finger against the module and actually enroll the fingerprint in there, it doesn't save the picture of your fingerprint. It actually saves what's called a template. And you can actually get those templates and save them uh, on your computer or save them to an SD card. And you can also set those templates, which means to take that data and put it back into the module. So if you had a whole lot of these deployed in different devices all over the place, you could enroll everybody's fingerprint at one location and then deploy those templates to uh, all of the different devices without people having to go around and enroll themselves at every device. You can store up to 20 different users on a module and the IDs start at zero, so it's ID zero through 19. And to enroll a user, you actually, it's a very simple process. Um, in the software, you just press the enroll button and here you can see it says ID zero is already used. So since I was playing with this before, it knows there's already a user number zero. And for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all, and that'll erase all the users from the module. And now I can enroll a new ID zero. It says input finger one. So I'm going to go ahead and enroll my index finger. So I'm just going to put my finger over the module, processing fingerprint, and then it says take off finger and it says input finger two. So you wanna take that same finger and put it on the module again, and then it says take off, and then you do it one more time, and it says enroll okay. So now there's a user ID number zero. And just to show you a couple of the different features, we need more than one user, so I'm just gonna enroll my thumb as well as ID one. So we'll do enroll again, and just press it once, twice, and three times, and we get enroll OK on ID 1. So now my index finger is user 0, and my thumb is user 1. Now there are two different things that you can do with a fingerprint module. You can either verify a user by knowing who the user is supposed to be and then checking it against their fingerprint, or you can identify a user where you don't know who the user is supposed to be, but you can find out if that fingerprint is in your database. So in the software, you can actually do both of those things, and there's a button for each one right here. 
If you want to verify an ID, you just select the ID from the list that you want to verify. In this case, I'll choose ID 1, which is my thumb, and click Verify. And it'll ask for you to input your finger, so I'll put my thumb down, and you can see ID 1. So it did clear the verification. If I put my index finger on there, which is ID 0, you can see it says ID 1, no good. So the verification fails. On the other hand, if I click Identify, and I put my in index finger on there, it says ID equals zero. So it passes identification and returns a result. Now if I put a finger on there that I didn't enroll and I try to identify, it says no good because it can't identify me. It's not enrolled in the system. There are a few other things you can do in the software. You can get an image from the fingerprint scanner. So if I press get image, it'll actually download the image file that the optical sensor takes of the fingerprint. And you can save those as bitmaps in your system if you want to catalog fingerprints. And then finally, there are the get and set template buttons, which I talked about briefly, and the get and set database buttons, which will let you do the same thing as the template buttons, but with the entire database of templates up to 20 users. All of the commands that we just talked about in the demo software can be accessed over serial using a really simple uh, uh, packet structure. So we're just looking at the data sheet right now for the module, and here's the protocol that they use to communicate over serial. And then on the next page here, you can see just a full table of commands, and each command just has a hex number uh, assigned to it. So here you can see the alias for each command, and they'll probably look pretty familiar because they're all from buttons in the software. So here's enroll, start and then enroll 1, 2, and 3, which is all those three different times that we had to press our finger on the module to enroll. Uh, you can check enrollment, verify, identify, uh, capture the fingerprint image, uh, get raw images from the sensor. Everything you can do in the software, you can do with Serial just as easily. And if I keep scrolling here, you can actually see the command details for each of these commands. So it'll show what your host has to say, what the device is going to say back, and then what your response to that's going to be, if any. So that's the new fingerprint module. It's very small and easy to embed, and it's easy to talk to because it speaks serial. I'm pretty excited to see what projects these things end up in.